for lending me a hand, darling. This old place ain't been lived in in a long time. Longer still since it had a good cleaning. Well, I don't know who lived here before the Lawsons. Mrs. Lawson told me that some old relative or her husband's died and left him the manor and the land underneath it. In its time, it was quite the place. Now, it's just rotten into the swamp. That's what I heard at the tavern up the road. Folks say that the fellow that built this home was a famous pirate, and he retired here after a lifetime of looting on the high seas. Apparently now he spends all his time watching me clean his dirty toilets. Not much of an afterlife. Seems that Mrs. Lawson's husband heard the same talk as me. Only difference is, I have enough respect to leave the dead to their business and me to mine. I ain't never seen a ghost, and I don't want to. Still, there is something strange going on in this house. I'm sure you have noticed it. Have you seen that crazy clock? Take this damp cloth and the key and go to the music room. Help me clean a few dirty windows to see what I'm saying. what I'm saying about the oddities in this house? My husband Lewis and I have found strange things all over the place. That clock and that piano are perfect examples of what I'm talking about. And I'm not sure that I believe a pirate hid his treasure in this house. But then again, my beliefs are not necessarily those of other folk, if you know what I'm saying. You can rub your knuckles raw knocking on that door, but she ain't gonna let you in. She's really been spooked. If you want to get inside, I suggest you find a spare key. I think Mrs. Lawson mentioned that there was one hidden in the upstairs hallway. I don't see how my beliefs are of any consequence to your investigation, Detective. I told you that spirits are not to be trifled with. We are surrounded by many energies. Some are good, and some are very bad. Hi, I'm Magnolia. My mom said you're here to help us find Daddy. I don't normally hide in my room, but I really don't like this place. I wish we never moved here. I miss my old house and my friends, and now Daddy's been taken away by a ghost. Mom says we can leave as soon as we find Daddy. 
The night Daddy disappeared, he was in my room reading me a story about a pirate. That's when we heard sounds outside my bedroom door. It sounded like heavy boots climbing the staircase, and then we heard screams. I don't think it wanted us to see the stuff we found in the attic. We found an old jewelry box in the attic. It's really pretty, but we don't know how to open it. I guess I could let you see it, but I need you to do something for me first. I'm missing some crayons and I'm too scared to leave my room. If you can get them and put them in my wooden case by the window, I'll let you see the jewelry box. rest of my crayons. I hid the jewelry box that Daddy found behind the doll on the fireplace. Please be careful, though. I don't want the ghost to come back if you get it open. <laughs> <laughs> 